Hi everyone, I'm Mark, amateur radio callsign M0IAX. And in this video, I wanted to talk to you about my portable operation. And first, a brief overview of how, it, how I started. Um, here you can see there's, there's three, three radios here, um, various sizes. And this is where, where I've tried to be portable, where it's waterproof and portable. As you can see, imagine, they're, probably, they're quite heavy. Here's a quick overview of what's in the cases. This is the ICOM 7300 with tuner and Raspberry Pi. Yaesu FT991A with again Raspberry Pi and a tuner. And the ICOM IC7100 with a tuner and power supply. Um, and finally the 20 amp hour battery. So the final one that I, I came up with was this one. Which is the ICOM 7100. Um, which has got a complete everything you need to set up a portable field station 12 volt LiPo 4 battery at the bottom ICOM 7100 um, tuner and of course a power supply for the Raspberry Pi which is not on this because I'm using it in something else and it's all mounted on a military surplus, surplus carrying frame which you'd normally see with a PRC320 attached to it now this is great because it's quite portable. You can put it on your back and wander around for ages, but it's quite heavy. So that brings me to what I'm using now. This then is the ICOM LC192 backpack. As you can see from the way I'm old of it, it's not the lightest thing in the world, but I've got quite a bit in there. So let's take a walk and set it all up and we can see what's inside. Here we go, this is the complete station, all in this bag with everything I need, need to cover ne nearly every um, every band that this radio covers. Um, now why do I like this bag? Now people have said it's quite expensive for what it is. Um, I don't know, it, it was about 100, 160 pounds I think. Um, but for that you get something that you can put down on the ground and operate your radio from. So it's good for a quick deployment. Um, there's plenty of space for everything you need. So let's go through what I've got. Starting on the outside, in this bag, um, I've got a two meter, 70 centimeter wire antenna. Obviously a feeder line, there's about 10 meters there I think, which I attach to the outside like so. On the side, I've got an almost complete uh, Super Antenna MP1C with a ground spike and I use the Buddy Pole Mini Shot Core Whip with this uh, works really well on the other side I've mounted an SO239 adapter this is the, uh, the, the kind of thing you put on the, the boot or the trunk of your car um, to mount a, a, an antenna on it means we don't have to go inside to add, uh, plug anything into the radio. It can all be done onto that. Most of my antennas have got an SO, sorry, PL259 connector anyway. Uh, and you can also, with the reinforcement on the side of uh, the bag, you can put a, a full size car, uh, two meter, 70 centimeter whip, which I've used as well, both walking along and, and, and static, and it works great. Only you need to add a, a few radials which go onto that clip there. Um, speaker mic that comes round the outside and clips nicely onto uh, to the to, to the shoulder strap there. Inside, hopefully you can see from there. We've got 
counterpoise uh, for the for the butter uh, for the uh, super antenna, the base plate for the super antenna, a spare elastic strap, and a spare um, a G clamp and a, and a spare mount for the super antenna there, and then on the table. And in the unlikely event we need it as an RF choke. That's um. I think that's a buddy pole one, I can't remember the make, but anyway. And there's also the small um, 2 meter, 70 centimeter antenna. This is the type you get with the FT817, but I've put there in there just to give me a bit, a, a bit of an extra, if I'm up high enough, it's not going to work very well from where I am. But it, it's given us everything we need, should we need it. A few other things. Um, this is a Mat 705 tuner, which fits in the bag there. Don't really need that, um, which is why I use the, the Super Antenna MP1C so I can make it resonant. Um, and there, there's, a, there's a few spare connectors and things uh, there. Uh, a face mask, which is what you need these days, apparently. And uh, a, a, a rag to wipe the screen with if it gets wet or whatever. And then inside here, at the top there, I've got my Raspberry Pi uh, in an Argon, Argon 1 case, I think it is. Made out of metal, nice. Keeps it nice and cool, perhaps it acts as a heatsink. And then, of course, there's a, I'm not going to pull this out, but there's a 12 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery there, uh, which powers the whole thing and keeps the uh, radio charged up. And that's it, that's nearly all um, I carry around with me. That, so I'm sure you all will want to see it set up. So I'll set up the antenna and we'll see if we can make a QSO on 40 meter JS8 um, with it all up and running in a few minutes. To set up the Super Antenna MP1. See, it's pretty simple. Um, if you find the correct hole. Do it, put it in. There we go. Put it on. Into the ground and put together the MP1C. That was bound to happen, wasn't it? And what I've done um, with the coil, I've used a marker pen and marked, if you can see that, just, just drawn round where it tunes correctly to 40 metres with that antenna on it. I've got a couple more whips, slightly longer than this one, um, and I'll set this up for those as well. But for now, we've just got that one. So that's the antenna deployed. And for good measure, we'll add the counterpoise wires, which are for 40, 30 and 20 meters. So, if we can see the screen, sorry if it's not very clear. What we're doing is I'm using the Wi-Fi on the phone, which is filming me there, 
to provide the wireless network for the iPad to connect by VNC to the Raspberry Pi which is in the case there, in the backpack there. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. JS8 cool there. We'll stick out a heartbeat. takes a few seconds and we can see some replies coming back there to acknowledge that we're being heard and well, we've got e e EI2GYB plus 3 F1GDB minus 16 and G0BHX minus 2 and that's it, that's, that's us up and running as you saw it probably took a little bit longer because I was doing it to video but you can be up and running in a couple of minutes and if you need to pack up and move somewhere else fairly quickly also. That's it, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I won't go on about the radio, there's some excellent videos out there already about that. Um, there's one from um, Julian OH8STN which he actually came up with last night. That's a really good one. He mentioned my call sign at the beginning. So that's got to, can't be wrong, can it? All right, thanks everybody. And uh, I'll see you next time. If you want more videos about this, let me know in the comments. Um, and that's it. Catch you later. 7-3 everybody. Yeah.